the link. You all should practice for the arrays, matrix, and the mathematics questions. The remaining you should do as your homework. But for today, your focus should be array, matrix, and mathematics. OK? I hope everyone is getting me. Yes, no. Hello. Yes, uh, from which page should we start? Uh, okay, just give me a minute. Or should we just search it? It doesn't have a search no, button. No, you can, you can start from page number three, top, okay? Okay. I have shared the link. You all can start. And uh, like one by one, I will keep the check on your progress as well. But if you are facing any doubts, then you can just unmute yourself and tell me that we are having a doubt. Uh, the sim uh, some of the array, ma'am. Some of the array, okay. Simple array, sum. So, are you able to do it, or like yeah, any yeah, questions? No, no, I'm uh, trying now. Great. And okay, the next is pressure. To return the mean and max. So simultaneously, how can I say the two values? Uh, you can check web of that how uh, output is getting showed, and then you can think that okay, now how can I display the output? Okay, no, can, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is like I can find the mean and max, but how can I directly say return the two values? That's the question actually. You can consider storing the values in an array of two numbers okay. and then return the array. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Gaurav, what about you? Yes, ma'am. I am working on this question, print a diagonal matrix. In the diagonal at okay, so are you done with your array questions? Yes, that one I have completed earlier, few days back. Okay, great. Continue. If you are stuck on any issue, you can just tell me. Okay. Yeah. Ashish, what about you? Yes, Ashish, are you able to hear me? Ashish and Aman. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm solving the first person no. of arrays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say Aman. Yeah. Actually, I'm stuck in this question. Okay. You can share your screen if you are stuck. Uh, I think uh, it is written host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, just a minute. I didn't get the access. You now have the access. You can try sharing. Yeah, I have shared. Recording okay. in progress. Recording stopped. I have written the code from here. Okay, so you have taken empty list a list okay and then n equals to n you have taken an input then yeah, you, have run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you are taking a simple array sum sum equals to zero i in range l dot append int okay so you are appending all those in your list then for each element in list uh sub. and don't you think it should be if you have written for x in L, then why are you using this i? It should be x only, right? That sum equals to sum plus x. Yeah, yeah, right. Correct. Now you can try running it. See, go down once. Go down. Don't run. Okay. Actually, I was. Let's see if it's working or not. Go down and see if the result has come or not. It 
It didn't. No response. Okay, go up now. Why these uh, lines has been written? We can solve this question in a simple way then. Yeah, but this these are the lines which are provided by the editor, not written by you, right? Yeah. So they have some specific way of printing the output to the console. Okay, that's the thing. And why are you like return print sum you are doing? You just need to return the sum, right? Why are you printing it? And uh, yeah, you can try running it now. Again, no response, go up. Return type. Is it the issue of the return type? You have written to it. Okay. I think, uh, um, okay, hear me out. Okay, just undo everything first of all. Like I want the fresh IDE like you were given. Okay. This is it? Yeah. Okay, now what is happening Aman? In the question itself, you have been given the array, okay? They have taken in on behalf of you, the n value that you, you are taking, and they have also taken the list. Now they are giving you that list in your AR, and they are just telling you that you need to find the sum. Okay, so you just need to iterate on that array and find the sum. Is it clear? Yeah, but ma'am, we will have to write the code here, right? Yeah, the code for the iteration part only, not anything else. Okay. Getting me that the for loop only for the sum, nothing else. List, right? Yeah, uh, is it list or the array has been given to you? AR? I think. No, no, no. Don't see things. that part. Don't see that part. See only your function. AR is given to you, right? Yeah, right, right. So you should use AR. You should take one variable. Yeah, so. But you should be like at least defining it before. Not up inside the function only you can take. And then at last you need to. Where are, in, where are we taking the length of array? AR? Um, but do you actually need the length of your array? Yeah, actually in this question, six is the length of error. And... See, see, listen, go down. What you are doing is, this the the mm. part that is given in your console, right? This if name equals to main. Are you able to see that? Yeah. There, there is a one variable array count, right? Yeah. That is nothing but the length of your array. Yeah, right. Okay. And AR is the list that you were taking. So what I'm trying to say is on behalf of you, the function is doing the thing. Okay. And you are just like writing the function for the sum only. You are not taking the inputs. Oh. Does it make sense now? Yeah. Uh, you should write the return statement after the completion of for loop. Yeah, backspace, correct. Try running it. Yeah. See, it's run. Yeah. now you try submitting the code. There, it's there, no? Yeah. 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 Yes. So now you can try solving other questions, okay? Okay. Sure. Okay. You can stop sharing and you can focus on other questions. 
Okay, so Aman is done. Rohit, what about you? Yes, ma'am. I'm following the same question. Are you stuck on any question? No, no. Actually, I'm following the same question. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mohan, what about you? Yeah, what? Okay, are you like having any issues with solving it? Okay, great. Uh, and Vishnu, what about you? So I'm doing the min max thing. Um, I had a doubt like to make it best. Uh, should I start comparing from 10 raised to power minus 18, like minus 10 to the power 18? Why? Um, like remember one time in the past you shared that uh, in case of duplicates, you assign it to uh, some negative number like that so that we ignore in the next iteration. Yeah, okay. So in the min max, why you need to ignore the numbers? Um, in case if input is repeated, I don't want to compare it. Can you share your screen and tell me exactly what you're thinking? Yeah, uh, okay, sure. Uh, okay, so here is the, uh, like, I was thinking that I have the input here. Okay. So my thought process was that the minimum is minus 10 to the power 18 is the lowest limit. If anything is higher but, than... Uh, yeah. Vishnu, 10 to the power minus 18 is the lowest limit, correct. But do you think it can fit into integer range? Yeah, okay. Yes, that's a good question. What is the like the least possible value an integer can store? Uh, 214 crores, something like that. Yeah. Basically, it's minus 10 to the power 9. Okay. Okay. But you yeah. are just storing the double of it, like n square you are storing. And that yeah. is the limit of long. So instead of using int min, you should be using long minimum. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the constraints play a very important role in all these things that how you need to choose your data types and all. Okay. Yeah. Um, so again, uh, my thinking is not yet solid yet, but I'm thinking that if I put it as... Uh, just for, I won't return this value, but I would know that no value could be going input value would be lesser than this so if i compare uh, is low no uh, i don't know i'm just writing it uh, what is the know? concept of minimum and maximum oh yeah okay uh, concept of minimum and maximum is that the lowest possible value in the input. Okay. So, see, what I'm trying to say is that you are thinking of like putting the indicators, right? That you are saying that if I checked, okay, minus two is not the smallest value, I will change it to some other value, right? You're saying that. If there is a repetition. Why? Uh, are you worried about repetition? Okay, think it in this manner that uh, you are standing in front of a row of boys. Okay, yeah. and you have to choose the tallest boy among them and the smallest boy among them. Clear? Okay. Yeah. So, does it matter that if two boys are having the same height? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would matter because it, then the output would be three. No. If there were two of I'm... the same smallest values 
the question is not to print all the minimum and maximum element the question is you have to print the minimum and maximum element that means if there are two boys okay in front of you whose height is the maximum okay like the same okay. and two boys whose height is the minimum okay but you just need to give the value of that minimum height you need not give the count of that much numbers are you getting that yeah yeah now i am yeah. clear so indicators are not necessary here which you were thinking okay. clear Yeah. yeah we understand i hope you got it and regarding this your int max equals to 0 just think of a test case where all the values are negative okay yeah then in that case your maximum will always print as 0 but is it right uh no that is uh, true what you're saying is 100% right but i have to initialize otherwise will it compile i was thinking yeah correct but initializing i told you the best way to initialize your minimum and maximum need not think much either initialize with like you are using long right like if you are using long minimum you should use long maximum as well yeah 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 and yeah. while you are taking input also you should take it in the long way like long manner yeah 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 where are you taking the input i cannot see you know so size is one uh, this yeah I'm... size you can take in the form of integer but when you are taking this array value na it should yeah. be long clear yeah that's okay. a very good point so yeah. either you can initialize them with like the minimum long value and maximum long value or yeah. else what you can do is you can just initialize them with the first array value or any array value you can say like whatever array you have been given right okay you can initialize them with its value clear okay and so, one more mm, thing yeah my yeah, let sorry to yeah. interrupt yeah so but the thing is that in order for this to work uh, the array is get input is here how can i initialize it here because you can initialize it after taking your array will it matter much much okay so, you are doing it on the go correct i got it so now yeah i got that part you are going right in that way so okay. one more thing if you have taken long min equals to minus 10 to the power 18 okay mm -hmm. so let's suppose all your numbers are positive but then mm -hmm. also your minimum will come as minus 10 to the power 18 because it is the smallest value yeah so you should do something contradictory right in the minimum variable you should be storing the maximum value wow, are you getting that yeah yeah <laughs> that's a great that's idea yeah. yeah okay so are uh, taking all these inputs now you try to solve the particular question and then let me know if you are stuck okay yeah 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 okay, okay. you can stop sharing your screen now yeah sure Okay. Kishan and Abhiji, do you have any doubts or questions? You can ask if you want.
value are like i can't understand nor can i debug so should i share it again okay. uh okay just a minute uh web what need do you need what help uh, yeah. you need Uh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, I have written a code, but uh, I don't know what's going wrong in that. So, can I share my screen? Okay, just give me a minute. Let me just resolve Vishnu's doubt, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Um. See, this was my thinking that uh, min. I have put the highest value. So, whatever is the. Uh, not min is less than. If min is greater than your current value, then only you have to change, right? If min is less than, how will you change the values? So okay, so min is I have put highest value. Correct. So, so min will be greater, right? Yeah, it will always be greater. Then okay, it will be like that. Okay, I'm just checking whether this works or not. uh okay so there is a space needed i think this may be solved i think i am good probably okay you can uh, stop sharing your screen and web of you can start sharing your screen just the stop okay thank you yeah it's okay Yes, Webuf. Uh, so, Webuf. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, is it visible? Yeah, uh, yeah, so, it is visible. Yeah. Could you please tell me what is wrong in this program? Uh, okay. So you are taking this. You are initialize. Okay. So when you take an array, okay. So it is self initialized with the value zero. Correct. Yes, ma'am. So you are initializing your min and max with uh, like zero zero, correct? Like array one of zero, array one of zero is zero zero, correct? Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. So, if let's suppose all your numbers are negative, okay. Then in that case, if you try to print your maximum, you will get it as zero. Yes. But actually, you should be getting like the actual. Maximum value? Uh, yeah, but ma'am, I'm comparing this maximum uh, with the current value, right? So that value should be stored in max, and then I will return that value. Okay, you are comparing the value with the max. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So your array value is negative. Let's suppose all the array values are negative. Okay. So will any time this condition will be true? Like, will there be any time when this condition will be true that array of i is greater than max? Able to follow me? Okay. No, right? Like, mm -hmm. not once. Also, this condition will be executed, okay. and at the end, your max will remain as zero, and it will return zero itself. You can try it. You can just run your code. Okay, scroll down. Okay. Scroll down. Yeah, Test yeah, yeah. against the custom input. Give all the values here. Okay, just scroll down once. Don't give the value as of now. Scroll down more. Wrong okay, there is no response. Also, go back. Yeah. No. Go back. Go up. See, you are calling your min max function, right? Yeah. And it is returning an array. So you should be storing that array, right? Yes. Okay. And then I need to print that array. Is this correct? You need to print okay. both the values oh. of the array. Oh. Okay. Fine. Web of run it, and if any problem, you just tell me. Okay.
Madam, my th test case third and fifth failed, but it doesn't show me what is the problem in those test cases. Share your screen. Uh, I did the test. So I'm getting this. It is some runtime error. Okay, if you are able to see, that's not a wrong answer. Oh, so. Sorry, actually, your voice is not audible. One second, I will match the sound. No, no, no. And now it will be fine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is clear now. So, what should I do? You, you go view results. Yeah, view results. Yes, okay. So, test case. Now, hmm. open an editor. Uh, okay. Go down. Okay, so you have taken the values. See, I told you that you need to take the input as long, and still you are taking it as sc dot next int. You can see the array values when you are taking. Okay. Array array values array values. I'm talking, Vishnu. Go to mm -hmm. your for loop. Yeah, here you are taking the array values, right? Array of i. Yeah. Um... Go up. Are you not able to see the line? No. Oh, what's the line number? I'm not able to uh, oh, okay. Line number 13, okay. okay. Line number, no, 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 no. Undo it. Control Z. Yeah, yeah, I did control Z. Go to line number 13, I'm saying. You can see that you have initialized your array as long and you are taking integer values. Yeah, correct. Now try running it. Running was successful, but submit was failed. Oh, okay, now I understand. You know, actually, I really like like how in different way you think. Okay, it failed. Now it is giving a wrong answer. Okay, now again open an editor. How to see which test case failed? You cannot see that. Oh, okay, okay. And maximum and minimum should always be like that. Minimum should be the lesser one and the maximum should be the greater one, right? It should not be less than or equals to or greater than or equals to. On line number 14 yeah. and line number 17, you can remove equal to. Okay, so... The idea is that if it were equal to, mm -hmm. then it would be exceeding the limit because here it is less than equal to like that and greater than equal to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just trying to understand here also they put it less than equal to because array. Actually, the thing is they are saying that your array value will be either less like greater than or equals to 10 minus 10 to the power 18 okay this is not the condition for min and max they are just giving you the range under yeah. which your values will be given okay yeah yeah getting this yeah so i mean if they it can be that this would be the value so if that is the exact value then it will not it is already stored, right? So it's not going to give you the problem. I hope oh. you're getting that. No, no. One more time. Could you See, that? what you are thinking is that if, what if you have been given 10 to the power 18 as your number, yeah. right? In yeah. the array. Yeah. So when you will be checking it, you will check, obviously, that if your array of i is greater than your maximum value, correct? And your max is already minus 10 to the power 18. Your array of i is 10 to the power 18. So obviously it will match the condition and your maximum will be allocated. Getting oh. this, it's not going to give you the problem which you are thinking. Mm. See, one thing, I mean, I input this value. Mm -hmm. Will... Okay, so I have a input as this, so it will oh, it will be okay because I have already put this. If Correct. it fails, okay, I see now. Try running it. 
try submitting it. Again, test case three has failed. Test case. What can be the probable error? How okay, is? Um, is there a possibility to see what is the input? No, yeah, no, I can no. help you that you don't see, you, we can't no, you see. Can't. No, you can't. I'm thinking that this could be a problem size. Actually, I was also thinking the same because the remaining code looks perfectly fine. So you can just go ahead and change that and see if it is working or not. But it actually shouldn't be the problem. Yeah, I also agree. Uh, but you need to change your initialization as well. Next in should not be there. Yeah. Ma'am, is it necessary to write long min equal to 10 to the power 18? Uh, yeah, what you're saying? I'm saying it. Is no, no, it no. It's it's not necessary. You can. Um, but my thinking will be like you can take something here like long. You know that na, integer dot max value, integer dot min value. There is a variable. Remember? Uh, Aman, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can initialize with that in case you are like doing something like Vishnu that he's taking the value on the go and checking also. But if you are doing your thing like that first you have taken the array and then your next step is finding the min and max, then in that case you can just simply take the one of the element as your min and max and then compare it with the remaining elements. Yeah, right. yeah? Can I share my screen? I am stacking time. Yeah, before that, one uh, yeah. last time. Aman, uh, I... yeah, just a minute. Aman, I'll just let you share after this, okay? So it's complaining why? Because this size, uh, it is incompatible, possibly lo lossy conversion from long to int. So it rules out the possibility that this is the problem. Mm -mm, no, you can just you can just go and you can convert it to. Oh, I. I see what you're saying. Type conversion. Okay. Is that what you mean? No, it should be int. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, great. Yeah, that's it. I'm not sure why it's not working out. Shall I submit? Yeah, one sec. Try one submitting minute. it. Yeah, I submitted. It's processing. Let's see if it works or not. No. no? Okay, let me just see. It. Just to pass this test. Okay, case, just yeah. instead of uh, like Vishnu, you just instead of taking 10 to the power 18, just remove that and take long dot min value and take long dot max value. Like okay. in long min equals to you can take long dot max value. Just quickly do that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. One sec, yeah. And also change that size thing. You can change that size to like int only. It works in that way also. Oh, okay. Because there is no sense. It is only 10 to the power 5. So it should work. And it's initialization as well. It should be next int. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Yeah. Now run. And now submit. Yeah, I submitted processing. Uh, oh, okay, okay. 
yeah. it's because that uh, the long maximum and minimum value is slightly greater than uh, like what you can say 10 to the power 18 or 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 18 what so probably that was causing the problem got it oh so uh, the long max is lower than 10 to the power 18 uh, is that what i and conclude from this what are you uh, saying so from this uh, experiment what i conclude is the long dot max value is a smaller than 10 to the power 18 and one more thing you can conclude you can go back to the editor yeah go down and uh, you can like change that values to like i'm just telling you you do this experiment and tell me if it is working or not change the value same to 10 to the power 18 and 10, minus 10 to the power 18 okay mm -hmm. and then in here instead of like greater than just place greater than equals to and less than you just place less than or equals to and try running that and tell me that it works or not okay so what i understand is this whatever uh, yeah this and yeah this. correct okay, okay and change those values and then tell me if it worked or not okay okay anyways you have a right solution now so you can just experiment it yeah 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 okay, okay. yeah um, thank you so sharing much. yes aman you can share your screen Richa, uh, where have you reached so far? Uh, actually, in the min and the max problem, two of my test cases are uh, giving warning. It's not failing completely, but it's giving warning. So just... It's giving warning. Okay, I'll get back to you after him. Yeah. Okay, Aman, what is the problem? Yeah, we have to find minimum and maximum sum in an array. So, okay. yeah. In by shortcut, uh, we have used to mean sum equal to sum of array minus mm -hmm. max of array. Okay, great. And max sum equal to sum of array minus mean of array. And return correct. Means, yeah. With two, yeah, so, there are two spaces between min sum and max sum. Mm -hmm. Run your code. It is not printing your output. Okay, go back now. Okay, let me just see and go down. So put it option plus for plus intent str. Oh. I think... <clears throat> I guess, okay. I guess plus is also not required. You can just print the. Yeah. Now try running it. Uh, you can simply, I guess, just a minute. Can I return in the first in line 19 return mean sum and you can put the 20. comma. Okay, just hear me out. You can just put these commas and in between these commas, you can put the inverted bracket, like what do we call? Yeah, these, correct. Inverted commas. And in between whatever space you wanna give. Yeah, now try running it. Again, go down, it's a wrong answer. Okay, wrong answer. Okay, go up. Ma'am, can we write return two times? Like in line 19, we can return. No, 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 no. Return can't be written two times in the same function. It's only returned once. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, you are using these inbuilt functions yeah okay so can you try printing these results first and show me that uh, it's working or not okay that syntax was fine Okay, so you are getting the right results. Go down. It's just not printing it. Go down. Go down. Okay. See the test case one as well. Man. Okay. Yeah. Now go up. Go up. Go up. Okay. Now hear me out. In this particular question. you just need to print your result here itself because there is no return value that you need to return here getting this yes ma'am so just directly print after you are getting both the values just print them it's because of the spaces uh why is it not taking remove the space completely just keep the inverted brackets Yeah, now run. I guess there is no space should be printed at all, but it's not true. No, yeah, but <clears throat> okay. Remove these inverted brackets. I guess Python provides inbuilt formatting. That's why it is printing in that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can just go stop sharing your screen. If do you have any the other doubt? No. Okay. okay, just submit it. Let's see if it's working or not. Okay, Tran. Yeah, all of them are accepted. Now you can try solving other questions. Richa, are you still in the doubt? Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Mm, go up. Okay, what problem it is giving you? Ah, uh, here the test case is uh, passing, but uh, when I submit the code. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, so now I'm getting video. Okay. Run timer. Were you listening when I was explaining to Vishnu? No, actually, I was looking here only. Okay, you can click on open in editor. Yeah. Yeah. Go down. See your numbers, your array numbers. Just go up. Check the constraints. See, it is saying that the constraints number. can be as small as 10 to the power 18 and it can be as big as 10 to the power 18 right yeah right 
do you think it can fit into the integer range no no it is a long range okay mm -hmm. so just initialize your array as a long array instead of the integer array mm -hmm. So you have made. Okay. Yeah. Now try running it and try submitting it. Okay. Yeah. The array should be long. And that int minimum value should also be long now. the initialization return value you have written int it should be long change in the functions also now submit yeah okay i hope you got it yeah yeah thank you ma'am okay yeah okay does anyone else needs my assistant assistance mohan rohit gaurav yes ma'am i need some help okay you can share your screen Ma'am, this one is the question. Mm -hmm. So print this time. one, okay. This one I am able to print a this diagonal row like this one and this one. Okay. In these spaces, like I got stuck, like uh, the test case is passed, but when I am submitting, then another test case is failed. Okay. Can you show me your code once? This one. So you are printing it if. Is equal equal J. This a uh, means I got stuck in this one space part. See, uh, why you need to keep other conditions for your spaces? You know that the only two conditions where you need to print the numbers, right? Right, but uh, here, like, uh, ma'am, like a uh, matrix they have given in square matrix, and uh, they are considering this space as well mm -hmm. for this one. Yeah. Like if we see, like here, uh, the like here numbers are five numbers are there. Mm -hmm. So here, like I have to ignore these uh, three numbers as per my condition. Correct. So I can uh, uh, so I can print uh, three spaces for these numbers. I got that part. But Go down. The, uh, <clears throat> but in the output, mm -hmm. like seven spaces are there. Mm -hmm. They are considering uh, these spaces as well. the space between the numbers so what you can do is you can you can notice here that seven just a minute before 75 there is a space right yes there is a before space before 33 also there is a space yes before 89 also there is a space yes so you can just print it in that way right but uh, last one but uh, But uh, but I have formed the matrix uh, without spaces. They are considering this space for evaluation. I didn't. Space. I'm not getting you. What you are saying, matrix without spaces? It's not clear to me. Uh, like uh, this, uh, like in this matrix, they are considering this space as well. The space between the numbers as well. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, in the output, like uh, when I say like I need this uh, diagonals, I need this uh, both diagonals, right and left. Then I will consider uh, these numbers only, like. Which I'm okay. not able. So for these uh, three numbers, I can only print uh, three spaces. Hmm. Okay. But uh, okay. how to print uh, the space for the others? Like uh, the space between the numbers, the other Go down. space. Go down. Go down. Let me see your conditions. Just uh, remove one, all these. 
just remove these two else if for like j equal equal zero and j modulus okay. to one. No, undo it. Keep the last else condition. This one. Last else condition. Yeah. Okay. And here. Go back. I, yeah. Single space. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single space okay. only. Now run your code. Now it is okay, so you are getting a congested matrix. Correct. Yes. Now go up. And in the else, you just print two spaces. This one is not working. Then. I tried this one. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. Not working. Now again, go up. Yes. You can notice in your matrix, after every number, there is a space, right? Yes. So there while printing your diagonals also, like diagonal numbers, just print one space along with that. Okay. Here we have to print space, one extra yeah. space. Now but try it. It's not working. Have you tried this? Okay, this one. Try submitting. Yes, it's working. Okay, got it. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one more last thing. Can I share? Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. I hope Mohan, Rohit, Kishan, Ashish, you are not in any doubts. And if you have any doubts, just ping me or you can share your screen as well. All right. So, so one. Yes. Okay, it's okay. giving the error, right? Yeah, so one second. I did a couple of R&D. So I print the long max value is greater than 10 to the power 18. This comes out to be true. Mm -hmm. So uh, what why my observation was that when I was putting long dot max value, things were submitting. Mm -hmm. But when I replace it with 10 to the power 18, which is the corner condition, mm -hmm. then it fails this test case. So yeah, I'm confused that, you know, see long max value is bigger I'm putting a smaller value and long min value is like. It's not about that uh, why it is not giving the error with long dot max value because long dot max value is the maximum value long can store. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is not giving the error for this, that first okay. thing. Mm -hmm. So you should not be confused regarding that. I have just wanted to check that equals to part. Did you check with the equals to max less than or equals to thing? Yeah, even then it you it was failing. So uh... yeah, okay. I was just just thinking of that. So probably it's like so I'll stay to submit because run was working. Yeah, okay, you can. So I'm just okay, talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though I'm like not making sense. So technically, this is a smaller value than max. This one works. The right side works. The left side doesn't work. So I'm assuming like I'm putting hundred as the min value, and max value as minus hundred. Mm -hmm. Then this logic. I'm just for easy understanding. If the value is hundred, then 100 is greater than or equal to input is 100 then it will go as mean as isn't it i think am i confused with this higher mean i put as plus 100 then it will be 100 and then max is something like okay yeah uh, it's better to understand it in the terms of long dot max value and long dot min value instead of minus 10 to the power 18 and 10 to the power 18. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. will make it a lot easier. Yeah. 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 But to simplify this, uh, I mean, shall I try with this so that I, if, if the value is like 100 and I min at positive 100, so this is 100 and this 100 and 
then it should pass actually i'm confused between min and that 10 to the power 18 those long values you can directly try printing those values and you can check your answer uh i tried that i mean i i can uncomment this part uh, so what exactly you are saying uh, what try the... printing the values for long dot max value and see what is the value you are getting yeah so i ran it it was this value 9002 it is 10 to the power 19 and above like that see 3 6 9 12 Uh, 15 18 it's almost like 10 to the power 19 close to 10 to the power 19 got it now go back sorry yeah here try printing for if i think it should give the result but yeah try checking for minus 10 to the power 18 is greater than or equals to minus 10 to the power 18 it oh, should okay. give the result i guess no it's it's correct i guess oh okay okay yeah uh, i can uh, uh, vishnu just do a little r and d in that and if you are still stuck you can just let me in the yeah. next session like on monday okay Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. So, everyone else, do you have any doubts still? And ma'am, traversal is not in this. I couldn't find it. Uh, Which traversal? The, so, uh, matrix traversal three cross three or four cross four. I want to go from left to right and then uh, vertically, then horizontally, then vertically. Like. Uh huh. You can do it in your practice, like in your ID. Okay. and uh, because the, like these many questions we cannot provide on this particular platform okay okay fine okay i'm stopping here. yeah uh, okay so i'm lastly calling aman do you have any doubts aman do you have any doubts ashish gorav kishan mohan richa rohit and webhav guys if you have any doubt you can just tell me right away or you else you can just like give your doubts in the group where uh, vishnu i remember you have sent one of the question i'll see it today and we'll let you know if there is an what is an issue in it okay no 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 i i don't have any more questions uh, okay i'm clear i think someone replied and it worked So, okay great but you know what one thing i am really inspired because you are able to think like 10 different people's problem at the same time like how could i be like that uh just be in the class for some time uh, your thinking process will improve a lot okay 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 so guys have a happy weekend and thank you for joining bye